Hello guys, Wahoo here, back with another video. This time around, going over the farming video I did today. Uh, I'm not going to show you footage of it, but I'm going to go over the numbers and kind of show you guys or tell you guys if it's worth using these new clovers. And uh, keep in mind that this might change in the future or be different. We don't know yet. All we know is that, um, yes, this is, this is how it is right now. And it, again, if it changes in the future, I'm going to, I'm still going to do a whole video on the gardening, but uh, I'm not going to go in depth in like if it's worth or not doing this, except if there's something different or that needs to be uh, addressed basically. But I've done farming. I did one hour on my alt account and I did one hour on my main account. So starting out with the main account, uh, I have uh, on Sunday, as you can see, this is Sunday today. So I do get the, I didn't have, I did not have the, uh, you know, I did this both of the accounts on today, right? So I did not have a uh, patron on either of them. So I did have the, you know, 100 magic find from that. But both accounts also was part of a club that do have the fixture of the extra magic find. So as you can see, um, well, I could show you the magic find, but it would be 50 less than it is there. Uh, it's 3,015, but it's actually uh, my magic find of America uh, on my uh, on my main account uh with the magic find clover is that it's 3365 magic finds without patron and of course you can double that if i had patron but uh, it's about a dragon uh, magic find right i told you that in a different video in the first video kind of going over what i know about uh we know what we know about the clover so far right um so to put on what i basically had or to tell you guys how much flux i made i made uh, 1000 uh, sorry not 1000 118838 uh, um, flux and that's just raw flux that's not something all, all the other things that is just basically the flux from what i had before the hour and basically what i had all of, at the end of the hour race and one uh, just to compare one clover cost you 6000 flux in crafting materials so uh i made a profit around uh you know uh, well one 100 and what is it 12 1838 that's the profit i made of that and of course this is not all the clovers fault basically but yeah just to compare you know that's that's kind of you know if it's worth doing the the debt and i think it is because of the it's basically a dragon right so okay so the alt account as well because uh some people don't have as much magic find as i had so also i did an hour on the alt account to kind of show or to compare kind of what it would be for the alt account so the alt account uh with you know farming oh i also remember i forgot to say that this was u9 farming i did on the main account and on the alt account i did u7 it does have a little bit of an an impact uh, i guess in uh in some ways but I'm, I'm just gonna make sure that i put all the information out about what i did with the farming um so on the alt account i did u7 I had on this Sunday with the clover, I had 550 magic find. Uh, so again, that's of course from the hundred from Sunday, uh, also some for or the hundred from the club. And then of course I have a little bit here and there. Also, of course, this is with the, uh, you know, you have your bonus of always, if you, you, if you die, you lose 50 magic find. That's what you do when you die. Uh, and you can gain that back by defeating monsters and then you can gain it up again. Uh, so that's of course also with that, uh, but again, no patron on that either. And on that count, I made 13,292, uh, flux. And that's again, only the flux from what I had before uh, the hour and then the end of the hour, basically. So, uh, it's basically I made twice as much as needed for one clover in that hour. So if I was to kin continue, I would, uh, you know, exponentially make twice as much uh, over the time. It, of course, it's also something to do with how many dungeons you do. I did about 100 dungeons on each account. So that's, you know, that's kind of the efficiency I did. Uh, again, if you make less dungeons uh, and of course, uh, maybe I should have said this at the beginning as well, but 
I did this uh, just doing random farming, not doing something specific like uh, special farms or shadow towers or anything like that. Just doing random farming dungeons I would do on like a, you know, what you would do on a Sunday and stuff like that. And again, I did it in a, my normal way that I farm. I don't bomb my way through the dungeons and stuff like that. If you see my stream, that's what I just regularly run through them. So you could definitely also be more efficient if you go on a Neo Ninja, for example, and do speed farming and do bombs and all that stuff. And again, she could definitely increase that number as well. But I wanted to make like kind of a, uh, a a regular, I wouldn't call it a regular video, but like regular farming without have to invest too much, uh, going too crazy, basically going too ham on on, on all of these. But uh, this is the numbers I came up with. So because uh, I got this question, uh, I think I got it on YouTube and also on stream uh, about if it's worth doing these clovers and. I would say yes, because it actually is just a dragon. It's the same magic find you get from a dragon. It's 50 magic find that would you get the same thing in a dragon. Uh, but I wanted to crunch the number or test the numbers basically before I kind of said, oh, they are worth it. But just just basically using uh, a little bit of brain power and kind of thinking, oh, it's actually like a dragon. You know, so our, and you can say, is dragon worth it? Yes, dragons are worth it. So. Okay, you don't get the bonuses from the dragon, but you still get the magic find, right? And it does only cost you 6,000 and some few hours uh, of, of, of basically throwing down some lucky stars and, and, and stuff like that. And you can also hit multiple of them, right? So you can make multiple of these and basically exponentially make more and more and more. And that would give you 50 magic find, uh, maybe permanently, if you actually are efficient enough. Anyways, I think that's enough about what the, the Clovers are worth or not. I hope you guys found this interesting. If you did, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And again, if I missed something or you have some comments or something like that, yes, put them in the comments. It helps out me and helps out other people that also are looking for the information, right? And we are sharing all this great information so everybody gets smarter, right? Anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.